49 Pakatan Rakyat MPs have formed a free MP Teresa Kok Parliamentary Caucus on Sunday and they welcomed the support of Barisan Nationals Senator Datuk Zai Ibrahim. DAP advisor Lim Kit Siang, PKR Vice President Azmin Ali and past Secretary General Datuk Kamaruddin Jaffa chaired the caucus. Kixin says the purpose of the caucus is to call for an immediate and unconditional release of Teresa from detention under the Internal Security Act. Seorang legislator, kita mahu menyampaikan satu message bahawa kita tak benarkan ahli parlimen ditangkap di bawah ISA oleh kerana apabila seorang ahli parlimen uh, di uh, ditangkap bukan sahaja ia melibat berlangsung kupap dengan hak kebebasan seorang individu dan tanggungjawab parlimen beliau tetapi melibatkan uh, sistem parlimenter demokrasi. He says the caucus plans to meet Deputy Inspector General Tan Sri Ismail Omar for permission to visit Teresa. He also says they would write to the International Parliamentary Union, Commonwealth Parliamentary Association and ASEAN Interparliamentary Assembly for support. Sebenarnya inilah antara sebahagian keprihatinan kita mengenai hak asasi bahawa kita mahu ISA yang begitu nefarious, yang begitu notorious dan yang ke iniquitous untuk dimansurkan. Tapi oleh kerana kita sebagai ahli parlimen, kita adalah pun uh, ada tanggungjawab yang ke khas mengenai kebebasan, kedudukan seorang ahli parlimen. Kitsian says they will also move an emergency motion on Teresa's detention when parliament reconvenes on October 13. I think we can demand also that uh, if there can be no no emergency meeting of parliament is, is convened because it's outside the powers of uh, members of parliament. When parliament reconvene on the 13th, the first item of business must be a debate on the arrest of a member of parliament, in the case, Theresa Kok. When Zaid appeared, the opposition MPs gave him a standing ovation. Zaid recently quit his post as minister in the prime minister department in charge of law following the latest ISA arrests. He explains why he supports the caucus. Uh, I'm here because um, I'm very concerned about the use of ISA, as I've always been. Um, my position, I think you all know, is that it's not that ISA cannot be used or should be scrapped totally. My position has always been that it should be only used for people who want to re overthrow the government by force, by terrorists, by people of violence. That's all. It should not be used against journalists, consumer groups, politicians who are against you. It should be used only for that category of persons for a limited period. Zai also says that he doesn't understand how Teresa could be a threat to national security. I know Teresa personally. You know, when I was uh, president of the ASEAN parliamentarian group on Burma, she was my secretary. And I cannot for the life of me see her as anti-Islam, anti-Malay, anti-anything. She's a wonderful lady. And I can't see how that person can be a threat to national security and public order. Other opposition party leaders who were present, including PKR Secretary General Dan Sri Halid Ibrahim, DAP Secretary General Lim Kuan Ning, and DAP National Chairman Kapal Singh also called for the ISA to be repealed. Lim Yuk, the Star Malaysia.